You are still watching Ways Now. It International Day for Eradication of Poverty is observed on the 17th of July. I'm sorry, October rather, to raise awareness about the global issues of poverty. Now, the theme for this year is Dignity for All in Practice. Now, poverty is not just a lack of economic development, but involves various other aspects. I mean, if there's any day that needs to I mean, I believe they should just make it every day like that in Nigeria. Is this day for poverty. The, the rate at which a lot more Nigerians are falling below the poverty line is really alarming. It's mm -hmm. getting really bad, you know. And I just hope, because again, that's why we're talking governance, leadership, and all of that. Everything truly rises and falls on leadership, right? It falls on the kind of leaders, the kind of people that govern us and all of that. And if you really want to really say, Yes, we, we are paying attention to the needs and the requirements that Nigerians really have. Poverty is one of the biggest challenges that we are facing as a country. I don't know how we're going to come out of it, but there are a lot more people that, have, that cannot even afford just the basics. Yeah. You know, not to talk of, you know, say you want to have a balanced three square meal. That's a, that's like a tall, that's a tall yeah, order. Yeah. All right, so um, who are we starting with? Chinelo. Oh, Mani, are you ready? Go ahead. Your story, please. Okay. So, what I found in the news today. Um, so, 63 Nigerian students have fled, so to say. They fled their campus out of fear in India. So, it's recorded that on the 14th of October, while they were playing football, they decided that they were going to have a mixed team of Nigerians and Indians. And then the captain wasn't having that, and he raised objections. And before he knew what was happening, a fight broke out. It says that um, it was resolved that day, but then the next day, the Nigerians were attacked by the Indian students again. And out of fear, the Nigerian students fled the campus. But then um, reports reaching us say that, says that um, everything is under control now. The Nigerian embassy has been informed, and then they're going after the students that were involved. And they've assured us that Nigerian students will be safe anyway. So we're really hoping that these students are actually safe, I and mean, it's not their home country. It's a foreign land, but... But then it made me wonder, what exactly is going on? Was that out of... I mean, it's a football match, right? Why would the Indians get upset that they're mixing the Nigerians with the Indians in the same team? If you're living in, a, in another man's country, well, it's um, assumed that you are willing to take them in, willing to absorb them into the society. So what exactly went wrong? Well, yeah. I, I don't know. But all I can say is I went to an event center on Sunday, mm. very close by. You know, and I went to get popcorn because I was just craving popcorn. And I saw loads of Indians. They were doing a festival. Like, I could not believe that we had this much Indians in Lagos. They were doing a carnival, so they were there, plenty of them. They had security detailing and all of that. Why, why I'm saying this is that when we have foreigners in our country, we treat them, we treat them well. like, we treat yeah. them even bet, better that's off that, than us. Yeah. That's why foreigners will continue to have the boldness, the temerity mm -hmm. to treat us anyhow. Or to even attempt, would they have done that if they were Americans? Would they say they want to go and attack them? Definitely. Because they know the consequences. Uh -huh. So you see, these things is a ripple effect. It, it trickles, right? So why do we do it? Why do we do it? <laughs> it trickles. I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to think. Why do you think we do it? I don't know. Maybe it's the color of the skin. I don't know. It's, uh, it's, I, I, it's, it's, so. I just feel like I think we are... We are. We feel like a like light color is more, yes, yeah, more superior. Yeah. I think yeah, so, I but so. but it's a sad reality. But that's sad that's man. our reality. Mm -hmm. Because you would dare not go to do that, you, you know, to an American yeah. or somebody else or a British or something. And you then, won't try that. No. So that's why. It's, and for me, it's not really the color of the skin. Let me not. Let, let me take that back. If I treat you, my people mm -hmm. with respect. And I treat them with dignity, and I treat them like they, they matter. They know how. Guess what will they happen? They will demand the yes. same treatment from others. I get what you're you saying. Say, treat others like as you want them to treat your yeah. children. Yeah, absolutely. It's the same thing. So it's so the same thing. It boils down to the government. Again. That's what I'm, it boils down to our government. Because yeah. if they see the way our government is treating us, that's why they won't have the boldness because to come into Nigeria and treat, still treat and us, treat even us. in our own country. Yeah. So it's sad. The government is so it's not even because they are even abroad. If they were here, they would have. They would still done the same thing. Money, your story. Yorubans must deliver 95% uh. <laughs> of their votes to me. Reject Atiku or B, says Tinubu. Oh, I will. Bola Tinubu, the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, 
APC on Sunday said voters in Ikiti must deliver 95% of votes to him in the 2023 election because he is their own. The former governor also urged the people to ignore his rivals, Atiku Abubakar of the PDP and Peter Obi of the Labour Party because you don't know them. Another election is coming by February. Will you be ready? Shine your eyes, says Tinubu. They are coming. One will say he is Atiku Abubakar. One will call himself Peter Obi. You don't know them. The only <laughs> person you know is Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And you must deliver 95% of your votes. Mm. In a push to secure the APC presidential ticket in June, Mr. Tinubu seemingly roused his Yoruba base to say it was his turn to become the Nigerian president, having helped outgoing president Mohamedou Buhari to power twice. Mm. Uh, it is well. It is well. <laughs> it is now a must. It is well. I What's just, your I, I, my, my thoughts, I just wish we would have a national president. When I say national, I don't want a Yoruba, I don't want an Igbo, I don't want an Edo, I don't want an Aosa. I want a national president. As Someone who would understand that yeah, yeah. ruling Nigeria is not ruling a part of Nigeria, but is ruling the whole of Nigeria. You must be able to accept everybody. So I just leadership think that is this something is, this that is, crazy. is when you understand what leadership is. Regardless of whether you're liked, you're not liked, whether you're, it's, you it's a responsibility, yes. right? True. Yeah, and true. once you start to bring divisional lines, that you tells me how small-minded you, minded you, are. you are. And you cannot rule over 200 million, million people. people talking, you know, he has a very myopic view. Very myopic. Very, he's actually, very he's small-minded. Because small if you start to how can you draw these that? lines, it, it makes no sense. I was saying to someone that you see until we start to see ourselves as nigerians first yes we can never we can't go, go anywhere no. and that's why till tomorrow i make it very, very like it's really part of me before i would ask you where you are from maybe something maybe there's a question that but that doesn't yes. 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 yes that's not yeah. my making mm -hmm. i am a doe born in the north married to a northern man. i've lived i've gone to all, almost all parts of nigeria so tell me I, most of my friends are not even anywhere near my tribe or anything. So I cannot see anybody with tribal lines. Yeah. It's impossible. Growing so, up with, I didn't even know where my friends were from. You understand? It was when I, we, we started growing old that we started saying, oh, you're even Igbo, you're Yoruba. You know, I didn't I even know the difference. Even thing. Oh, it is. Uh, it are you is. kidding me? It's Why? a tool in the hands I mean, of politicians. Well, <laughs> it's, it's All right, tool. so uh paris riot says people jackpa as if nigeria is isolated from global issues that's festus kiamo he's the presidential campaign spokesperson for the apc said that some nigerians continue to plan to leave the country as if nigeria is isolated from global issues he said this on monday and he said he tweeted a massive protest on the streets of paris over soaring prices meanwhile some are still planning Right to Jakpa abroad as if Nigeria is, the isol is, is is in isolation from present global issues. Some who know the issues are also deceiving Nigerians and playing local um, politics with global issues. Well, I I, I hundred percent agree with him because again, if you've listened to the people that have gone out of the shores of this country and they said they would have to come back, right? Those people told themselves that come, there's absolutely nothing. So the, the, the reason we have a mass movement out of the country is because people just believe somewhere in their head. They've been tro told this, this story that it is way better outside. Until you get there, you now realize. But sadly, most people are not able to come back because yeah. maybe they are ashamed. They sold everything. They sold everything. Yeah. What would they come back to? So they'll rather just weather the storms, right, and just suffer it. But the truth is, yeah. right, anybody that understands where, where we are globally in, our, in the world in general... There are so many issues that are not unique to Nigeria. Yeah, just global just, crisis. Yes, it, it's a global crisis. So we should also be very conscious that even if we leave Nigeria, we would also face it's certain things thing. somewhere else. Yeah. So we'll go on a break now. Let's discuss good governance. Stay with us. We'll be right back.